Welcome again into the Hog Palace, Ezekiel's Temple. Hog Ed wanted to sing a song for you. All on the altar, my Lord Jesus, my Master, I hear thy call. Somehow I know thou canst use me, for I must surrender my all, my all for thee, my all for thee. O gave thine all, by dear Lord, you did for me, thy will divine, henceforth now it is mine, to live for thee, my dear Savior, I live for thee, Amen. All right. Thy will divine, henceforth it is mine. However God reveals himself to you, that's once again between you and God. Understand that when we are on the inside of the Father who created the heavens and the earth, our wants are, are our in inheritance. In other words, our wants are produced from being on the outside of God. When we're on the inside of God and, and the, the things that God does, our, our wants become our in, inheritance. So when a person says, I want to do this for God, it means that they are on the outside of what they want to do. When a person says, I hope to inherit the things of God to serve him the way he would want me to according to his perfect will, it means he's on the inside. There is a difference. Let's stand for what's on the inside is better than what's on the outside. Although it works out that God does have a matter of respect for us wanting and the Bible says Bible doesn't use the word one it says the desires of our hearts the Bible says he will fulfill the desires of our hearts not the wants of our hearts these little slim differences may not make much difference in some people's mind because ultimately they want to do what is good in the eyes of God, and, and they're depending on God to read their hearts accurately and properly. And that's not wrong, yet that's not the best that we can do. Let's full, go after God to, for the fulfillment of the desires of our hearts. People are very proud, especially people who have been in church for a long time and have a senior position in the church. They will, some of them will say, emotions don't mean anything, yet they will use the word want. I want to do this and I want to do that. They don't realize that the word want is a emotion. Yet, they don't believe in emotion, yet they use the word want. Want is associated with an emotion of what you want to do. So, people at church are all filled with jazz. It's sort of a jazz mania um, atmosphere where People get all jazzed up with all these kinds of ideas, and they try to put something together that works. And if you understand the, the difference between being on the inside of knowing God and being on the outside, looking in at what you, what we call, what we've been, people have been calling one, let's say the desires of our heart, 
is a better way to express it because it doesn't the fulfillment of the desires of our heart comes directly from the table of God a want is it can be the same thing yet we have to be careful because sometimes we don't really know what, what, what we are asking for. We don't really know what we want. And when God gives us what we said we want, then we realize, well, we didn't really want that. So, it's not good to use man-made emotion to express a spiritual gift. The desire of our heart is a better expression. Uh, in some people's lives, if they go by their wants, in the long run, it, it may not, yet it may, make a difference in, in how they explore and how they experience and how they express themselves. It could make an impact on somebody, and it could help somebody if they could just express what they're trying to say with better spiritual accuracy and intent. All on the altar, you're my Lord Jesus. My master, I hear you're calling me. Somehow I know thou canst use me, for I must surrender my all. My all for thee, my all for thee, who gave thine all, my dear Lord, you did for forget thy will divine. Henceforth, now it is mine, through inheritance it's mine, not because Hoged wanted it, it's mine because my father gives his children, Paul Gid being one of them, the inheritance of the family, a portion. To live for thee, my dear Savior, I live for thee. Amen. All right. Lord, Father, Thank you for this time. Thank you for the song that you placed in the desire of Ed's heart. That you will be glorified. And not Hoged's ability to know what you want from Hoged and to want the same thing. Hoged is thankful for what you have given as a inheritance, as an opportunity to service the king. That it would be what God wants, and that Hog Ed would be trained and, and um, taught how to do what God wants. Thank you for this time, Lord, and pray that some soul will be saved, and each one of us will be drawn Closer to you in your name and for your in your fabulous name we pray. Lambo, God bless you. And Lord God bless us. We pray that we will be a blessing to you as well. In your name and for your sake we pray, Lord. Jesus Lambo. Amen. Thank you for this time together, and that's all we have for just now. Keep studying. God's with you. Thank you. From the Hog Palace, Ezekiel's Dungeon, Ezekiel's Temple, and Dungeon, <laughs> and Hog Dungeon. Have a great week. Thank you now. All right, God bless. Bye-bye.